Well, today we are doing some land-based fishing at St. Leonard's Jetty. And this is about 40 minutes past Geelong up along the Ballarat Peninsula. This is a really popular land-based fishing spot and for good reason, because early season and it's currently the start of spring, you get some really nice snapper along in these waters here. Now it is a very small jetty, so you need to come nice and early. And this morning we've arrived here at 5.30 a.m. We've got that peak tide change of high tide at 7.30. So it means we're gonna fish a few hours on each side of the tide and hopefully get stuck into a couple of snapper. Now you do get a lot of pest species here. So you gotta tangle with those. But what we do have is some Paternoster rigs, some nice big sinkers, and I went and caught some fresh bait last night of some Australian salmon and some squid. The other thing that you can do here is it's a great squid fishing location. So you can bring that extra rod and try and get into a few squid, which makes great bait. Nothing beats fresh bait. But anyway, we're gonna throw out these jigs now and hopefully get stuck into a few cracking fish to share with you at St. Leonard's, land-based fishing for some snapper. One's getting a bite. Oh. Yeah, good fish, man. Yeah, big head shakes. I'd say this is a snapper, get the net ready. Far out, I thought he was stuck then. Yeah, it's a good snapper. He's a good fish, mate. Oh, actually, it's a bit higher here. Yeah, do you want me to, uh, Oh, just keep him up, keep his head up. All right, all right, we should be right now. That's, a, that's it, that's it. Drag. He's a good... Oh. You got it? Yep. <laughs> now you see here on the jetty, you do have quite a bit of distance where you need to lift that fish. So it does take a little bit of a team effort and you've obviously got some pretty gnarly rocks here in the shallows. So, you're gonna find what I did there at the end there. Once we saw color, trying to lift the head and just keep them away from getting stuck in those rocks because there's nothing worse when you catch a good fish and then, you know, it just gets snagged or something here. So I probably want to tad hard on it, but as you can see, you know, it's not the easiest spot to be landing a fish right at the end here. You've got some nice big reef there. You've got some pylons, you've got all the rocks. So it does take a little bit of work. And obviously as you move across here, depending on which position in the jetty that you get, you can see that um, you know you've got some pretty fun structure to deal with but that's okay that's what it's all about all right so that is the rod and the reel setup so all i'm using today is just it's just my standard snapper outfit i've just got a atomic arrows there so it's one of the 8 to 16 pound rods and i've just cast out a paternoster rig with a couple of chunks of salmon I caught some strain salmon the other day in the kayak to get some line back. Holy <laughs> no. Come on, be a red one. This is on um squid. Is it? Yeah. He's going way that way now. You may have to come across. Come across this way a little no no go the other way. See the line's way up there. Good. Take your time. Oh, I can see him there too. His colour. 
Come here. Yeah, 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 you got him now. You got him, Luis. Go, 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 go back that way. Go back that way. That's all right. Go around the rock. He's right near the rock. You got to pick a side. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, a little bit higher. Oh. Got him? Well done, mate. <laughs> all right, that's almost oh. as good as your other one. Flooded. There you go. Running over for a floody. And away he swims away, look at that. There he goes. <laughs> I can only get the banjos, he's got the snapper. Woo! Oh, that's definitely, that's definitely not a ray. Yeah. Uh, can you come over this way? You gotta watch those rocks there though. Joe Bloody Patterson. All right, see you next time. See you, mate. You want to take this home? <laughs> you sure? It's good feed. Yeah. Yeah. Away he goes. Oh. Oh. Yeah. There's something there. I don't think so. I think Ray. It's just too heavy. It's a dead weight. Yeah, that's a Ray for sure. I'd love to be wrong. I'm pretty sure that's a ray. It's got some weight to it, it just feels more like a dead weight. If you enjoyed the episode, then become a Fishing Mad member. It's easy to join by visiting www.fishingmad.com.au forward slash member and gain access to an online portal that's full of helpful fishing content, including detailed workshops, fishing reports, rigging tutorials, podcasts, giveaways, competitions, maps, gear reviews, sounder training, exclusive videos, and much more. It's a great platform and helps to support everything we do at Fishing Mad, so become a member today.